Select your character. Here I come, Sonic! Hey, we're back with another episode of Sonic Adventure. We're, we're going to tackle through another part of the tale of the story. Host of Shadow and guest as always, TK the Hedgehog. So, what's up? What's up? Forgot about Jim. Oh, he's still in the <laughs> That's still what <laughs> What's up? Hello. And, yes, we are going to Sky Chase Zone. Okay, not so act two. And it's much more darker. And I said beforehand, no, I didn't really say anything beforehand, but have you guys noticed that there's a different setting in the sky? Yes. It's, it's just complete, completely dark and kinda chaotic and really scary. Because in this game that they've actually implemented the daylight system well not to as a our expenses of running around in adventure world it just comes automatically that it follows through the story straight away if it's in the daytime we're going through the daytime stages if it's dark we're going through the dark time stages so what do you think to that that they actually put that in this game it was interesting um it was one of my favorite aspects to be able to see the different adventure fields during the day and during the night However, once again, they, they could have expanded on that so much, they could have actually made you wait, you know, they could have did like Shinmu a little bit, made you wait until it's dark before you can access certain levels or certain parts of the story, but you know, this is their first 3D game, so, you know, we kind of give them a pass on that. Now in Sonic 06, it would have been the perfect time to implement something like that, like we saw in the tech demos at TGS 2006. I don't even know why that's so hard for me to do. What's it like? They was always speeding up, like in Kingdom Valley. Well, the, in Sonic 06, there really wasn't a day or nighttime system. Oh, because I thought at the demo, that's what that's what they were trying to do. Like, you know, oh, yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. Where they, they were like showing off the demo and they fast forwarded it and it turned to nighttime and the torches lit up and it was just really beautiful actually I was, that's what made me so excited about Sonic 06 it's like they finally did it this is my dream game that's what the step back though mm -hmm. well dreams are always crushed right that's what the equalists believe yes <laughs> ah don't bring this into the let's play <laughs> <laughs> but anyway Seems that Eggman's getting more serious because he's about to fire his huge cannon. Eggman always right. has to have a huge cannon. Well, not really. He, he, I like Eggman because his weapons and his ships, enemies are so diverse. He never sticks to one thing. Well, it has to be mechanical, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> it seems that we have completed the second act, and this time we can actually land on their carrier. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Huge. No 
time to dox on it. We gotta find Amy. You're right, pal. Let's get busy. Say, so this must be the sky deck after before entering sky deck that's what sonic said as well yeah, it's true and knuckles is gonna say it and um or actually no he's not no he's not i don't believe he is uh, no, no, no. He, he just he just says that he, he's found it i think like just before uh, and just says, like, oh i found the location to the master emerald where it is but he doesn't say this is the sky deck Right, yeah, you're right. I think the thing is, the egg people got lost on the egg carrier, or Sega was afraid that people would get lost on the egg carrier, so they probably implemented that to say, oh, I'm on the right track. There it is. Never understood why people would keep and saying, oh, I'm afraid I get lost, because that it's exploration. Like, it really encourages people to explore around and to actually find the places that they need to look for instead of um, going from one place to another straight like like in terms of 2D it's like gonna be linear and like wouldn't you encourage a 3D platformer to do this like for example Banjo Kazooie it's so open so big and so wide it's like considered one of the best 3D platformers ever see you later Tim yeah I just died sorry <laughs> um <laughs> yeah no I agree um, 3D definitely encourages exploration um, which is why I always tend to explore pretty much, um, especially in hub worlds and adventure worlds. That, that's one of the biggest places where you can explore. Um, as far as getting lost, that to me just adds to the fun. It's not frustrating. In Sonic 06, I got lost a lot because the forest was gigantic and um, I wish there was more to do there. And my thing is don't make it empty, make it worthwhile make it like oh i got lost and i found the best thing ever and i don't remember how i got there but i got there and you know i'm gonna spend the next year of my life trying to get back there you know that's the kind of exploration that that makes it fun you know that that's kind of how i felt about um the burger shop in in station square it's like whoa there's this burger shop here and i actually forgot where it was at one point and part of the fun was finding it again And yeah, we completed another action series. That was a bit longer, but another race completed. And this time it's to the capsule this time, not to the Chaos Emerald. Correct. Is that it? Sonic, we should check out the bridge. Quick trivia. Do you guys know that is the shortest cutscene, or should I say, by far the shortest cutscene Tails has ever had in this whole storyline of his? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll credit you. 